All right, guys, so come on down here. Now, I want to make my point here about closing the net. So you can see right here, guys, I got bait in the net, right? And look at him here trying to dig out. You see the mullet trying to dig out there. They're sticking their noses at the lead line. All right, so what we want to do, you guys can see they're all trying to dig out in that corner. So now if we just inch it in, they stay in there. They can't get out. We're inching that in, right? Inching it in. And now they're in that bag. Now once we get up to here, that's it. We're taking these baits and we're ready to fish. We pretty much yielded 100% of the baits right there because we took the time to close the net properly. So that's in there. We're gonna go ahead and release these. There they go. All right. Hey guys, Captain Mike here. Today I'm back out here throwing the cast net. I want to give you guys a simple tip on how to close the cast net. In a previous video, I showed you just how easy it is to load up this cast net, throw pancakes without putting it in your mouth, without putting it over your shoulder. It's a simple method, so make sure you check out that previous video but I didn't show you guys how to close the cast net. See, the biggest problem I see when I'm out fishing with friends, when I'm out fishing on other people's boats on the beach, when they get bait in the net, you know, they're able to throw these big, beautiful pancakes now, but they get real anxious. They tug on the net, they get in as quick as possible. They don't have the angle on the net sometimes, they're pulling straight up, they're losing bait like that. You're gonna lose, you know, 25%, 30% of your catch like that. So I want to make sure you guys are closing the cast net correctly. And the best way to demonstrate that is to do it on the grass here. So let me go ahead and load this up, throw it for you guys one more time. We got an eight foot, three eighths, all purpose cast net here. We're going to go ahead and go down to about our hip right here. Got 50% in our right hand, 50% on our left. We're going to come over, bring it up to our thumb. And now we're ready to throw. So I'm just going to throw this on the lawn right here. Going to come right at you guys. You guys are my target right now. Okay. So we got our pancake out here. Just got, let's pretend like we just got over some bait. Now the biggest problem I see when I'm out there fishing with other people is they just yank this thing in. They yank and yank. And you know what's happening? Mullet. Pilchards, all these other species, they're just waiting for you to do that because they're sticking their nose on the lead line right here and they're digging their way out. You see like in between the leads right here? That's their way out right there. That's how they're getting out. So the correct way to do this, once your net starts to sink, you know you got baits in it, you wanna just tug it. You wanna tug. And you can see what's happening over there is that the net is just slowly closing and creating this bag, but it's staying along the bottom, right? So I'm just tugging, and only the front part of the net is closing so far. And as you get a little bit closer, then you can pull it in. Your whole net starts closing, right? Now you got the bag. Now you got all those baits in your net that couldn't get out. You know, some mold are gonna get out. They're gonna sneak out of there, but generally they're not gonna be able to get out. So when you got it about this far, you got that bag down there, we're gonna pull the horn a little bit while keeping tension on your braille line. And then we're gonna come down and we're gonna take a little wrap. And by taking a wrap, we're taking the tension off these braille lines. Even though these braille lines are pretty strong, but when you got a net full of bait, you wanna take the tension off that. You wanna come you know, into your boat if you're on land, come over your shoulder, walk to your truck, whatever you're doing, and dump those directly into your well. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do this in real time. You guys know I can't do a cast net video without actually having some participants, live bait. Today we're gonna to be looking for mullet. We're out here, there's a lot of mullet around. I'm gonna see if I can find them. A lot of wind, unfortunately, making it a little bit tougher. But I wanna show you guys how to close the cast net properly because that's gonna yield, you know, generally about 25% more bait. If you're throwing on 10 baits and two to three get away, that's a lot of bait getting away, especially, you know, when your goal was to get 10 baits and, you know, two or three just got away and the school disappeared, you can't find them. You want to yield as many as possible. 
So I just want to tell you guys about the cast net that we're throwing today. This is an eight footer. It is three ace mesh. It's got a black horn. It's got white rope. This net is custom built. This is what I call our all purpose net. This is the net if you guys are only gonna have one net on your boat, one net in your truck, this is the net I want you to have. And I'm gonna show you why. I can get big baits with this. I can get small baits with this. I can use it in shallow water, deep water. It's truly an all purpose net. And uh, if you do gill some smaller baits in them, you just take them out. You know, but uh, a lot of people only want one cast net. Generally, you know, you need three or four cast nets, but if you're only gonna have one, get the all-purpose. So we're gonna go ahead and try to find some mullet right now. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. Let's go ahead and go. You guys know I love my extra tough boots. On land, you don't need them as much, but there's a lot of water in here. We got some crazy king tides going on. So uh, better not to get my main shoes wet. I'm gonna be in those all day. If I get these wet, no big deal. All right. All right, guys, so you can see over here, there's a ton of water from the king tide over here. This is all salt water coming in. It's all over the roads right now. It's on people's cars, but the mullet kind of get pulled in with the tide and they get sucked back out. So while they're in here, they're kind of in spots they don't know. So I'm gonna see if I can sneak up and find some. I mean, you can find mullet in the streets right now. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, there's some mullet. I wanna find a bigger school for you guys, but there's mullet swimming around what's normally a road right here. Glad I wore my extra tufts here. Little bit of bait over here. This is gonna be a tough throw. I should really grab a little bit lower on it. There's some bait out here. Oh, uh. You know what guys, I'm gonna take my boots off. This is clean salt water right here. The boots aren't quite high enough. I'm gonna take them off. I'm gonna come back out here. I'm gonna wade this water. Hang on, hang on. All right guys, scratch that. There's some bait right here. I'm gonna try to make a throw between me and where the mangrove shoreline is right here. Try to do it without falling backwards. And uh, I want to show you guys just how I close this. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, so you saw that pancake I just threw there. Now, the biggest mistake I see is people rush to get this open. You don't want to do that. There's a mullet in there right now. They're digging their noses at the, at the uh, lead line there. So you just want to inch this in. Inch, 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 inch. They're still in there. Keep inching it. Now they're getting stuck in there. Now that bag, now that purse is forming. And now we got bait. And then when we get it like right about here, grab up a little bit on the, on the net. We got a bag that forms right there. We're gonna take a wrap and we got our baits right there. All right guys, so that's how to close your cast net. You know, just give it some tugs, inch that net in. You really gotta inch that net in. The baits are waiting there with their nose. They're waiting to dig their way out. And that's how you're gonna lose bait. And again, when there's only four or five baits you're targeting and 25% of those get out, you know, one out of four, two out of four, whatever it is, it's really frustrating. So if you just inch that in, inch, 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 you guys are gonna catch more bait like that. And you're gonna have more fun with your cast net out there. See if we catch some more. See what we can get. All right, there's never water over here. This whole thing is flooded right now and there's bait all over. I just gotta get close enough to them to where we can get them.
Remember guys, this is my eight foot three eighths cast net. I call it the all purpose. All right guys, there's a school right here. Looking for bigger baits, but those baits are gonna work. All right, so again, we don't just pull it in. We got the bait in our nets. They're not going anywhere. They're trying to dig out, but if we just crank on this, they're gonna get out, they're gonna slip under the lead line. So let's just give it some tugs. We're closing the front part of the net first, closing it, and once we get halfway, then we could start pulling in. So now I can pull it in. They're stuck in that bag. There's no way they can get out. So a little something catch me up on over here a little bit. All right, so when you get about this high, bring your horn up a little bit to you. Take a wrap, bring that up, and you guys can see there we got the bait. So this is how to close the cast net. Everybody showed you guys how to open the cast net. There's a bunch of different ways. I feel like the way I show you guys without putting it in your mouth, without putting it over your shoulder is the cleanest and most effective way. This net here is eight foot, three ace mesh. It's 1.25 pound per foot. That makes this a 10 pound net. So it does take a little bit of strength because we're loading it all in our one hand, but it's a good workout for you guys. I promise you're gonna have fun doing it. So we're gonna let these baits go. They're just going to swim right here on the sidewalk. See you guys later. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope that helps you guys catch more bait out there. It really is the little things in fishing. You tweak, you make little tweaks here and there, and you're going to catch more fish. So if you like this video and it helps you, please share it, get the word out. Also, like and also subscribe, turn on your notifications. That's gonna let you guys know when I put out new videos. And I also wanna let you guys know, we just got in more shirts. And this time I made sure to get the triple XL for all the big guys out there. I made sure to take care of all you lovely ladies out there. I got you guys the little V-neck cut on them. And then all our junior anglers too. We got the youth small, youth medium, youth large. So go to realports.com. Click on the shop, go to the shop, you guys can order that. We really do appreciate your guys' support, so be sure to share these videos. I hope you guys have a good one. I get out there, create some memories, go catch some more fish. I'm Captain Mark, ThrillPorts.com, Thailines.